Also a pretty good hero when you think about that that leaner of Chris Luck, that long range right click with the physical damage build we've been seeing. Dry Ranger can offer the exact same thing from the other side. As we get ourselves into game one of this best of two, Beast Coast taking on VG Gaming. Massive swordsman there for Beast Coast and PYW's Lion leading the charge out. Tide bringing a couple of tangos to the bottom lane. Shadow Demon does not have. Never mind, that's going to be another stun. Yeah, he's, oh! Ooh, the stick charge. Stinger's still going okay, for it. Okay, they're still going to get him. He's going to die under tower, but well worth it. Sticks it to old 11. Make sure. And they kill the Shadow Demon there with PYW cleaning up. But now K1 has got free reign of that bottom lane. As we see Chris Luck getting a nice little stun onto Ori's T8. A two for one CS lead so far. Chris Luck with just one deny. We'll try and clear out this wave, but it's a tough job against an old 11 Tide who throws at the gush at him. Anchor smashing away at K1. A nice earth spike, and he's done. Sven down. Stinger looking for the trade available. back, but the hex is available, and old 11 might be able to and pick the up gush. a second one. Another poison, but it misses. Stinger's just going to get annihilated by the Tide. Armor item that you buy on your either supports or an offlaner just gets so much value. Here comes old 11. Bouncing along with the Tumblr's toy, rocking his way forward on his little horsey. Poyo also making the move down here to find Schofield, who just wanted to sit, defend the tower, maybe get a bit of experience. Not a massive problem for him. Oh haste. no, <laughs> that's not what Chris Luck wanted. More like Chris bad luck right there. Yeah, and Ori, he's not done just yet. Finds a courier and chases Whisper, forces the dive away. Oh, he's not done. Okay, Half he will his force gone. Supernova. He's going to get this. In comes Ori. Supernova force. The banish comes. The timing looks pretty good. K1 is dying to Ancients back there, but the Fisher is in. Out from Schofield, and Ori will pay. Sit behind and uh, try to. Hello, oh, Echo. The blink Echo. Supernova. Down you go. Poyo disappears under the onslaught from Beast Coast. Uh, Splitter looking to try and disengage Old 11 from that fight while the stomp lands onto Chris Luck. Half HP with PYW coming in with a finger. A one-for-one -one trade and Ori's arrival might force Sven away. Heavens Halberd. Nice Heavens Halberd, yeah, he's got the Echo Halberd already, 17 minutes in. K1's a beast, he's incredibly tanky, and they're gonna move back in, the two-man stun. The Fisher into Stormhammer, but Ori blinked away, just in time, barely escaped. While Old Levin plays forward on Whisper, the spam pings were indicating they wanted to continue fighting, but that will be that. A two-for-one. His farm patterns, you know, roaming through the jungle, clear out a wave. Incredible net worth as there's the catch on to Schofield. Ori and PYW once again pairing up as Whisper. Oh, burst down. Less than 100 HP. Trap and Spirit spot him, but oh! The minus, the minus armor. armor helped him out, didn't it? And the 60 damage talent. Oh! So with a blink echo and Lena's BKB, they are going to stampede forward to play into their vision and catch out PO PYW top lane. Chain stunned. It's a pickoff after pickoff. Oh, the second oh, yo, one, yo. The bigger target. So close to BKB. Lina with that newly blink. Ooh, he's going to be out of range with Yasha, or is Just he? Just gets the Light Striker Ray down. Laguna Blade for good measure. Poyo shredded in his own jungle. Now Vici Gaming have got to be wondering, where is that vision? He's under attack. Spirit Stomp into the pit. And Vici Gaming, they're angling towards a team fight here, but risky business. Whisper Silence does get caught by the Gust and the Gush, but the good bubble and Roshan's already dead. Chris Luck BKBs and battles with a Drow. They turn on old 11 for now, but that sleep again. Catching K1 until he whacks into old 11. Oh, Drifts across. Oh, this and the BKB. TA can't do a damn thing, and DY, he's been fissured and pummeled by Chris Luck, who blinks forward. Wants PYW while the Burning Sunray clips old 11. Oh, it roasts him alive. Drow with a multi-shot does bring down the Earthshaker, but TA in a spot of bother as K1 comes in and the chain stuns connect. They've got the TA locked in place. The Hex and stun on the Lena, but not enough. And, and there's no reveal. This arm. There's no reveal. Can he cleave off the creep? He can't. He goes instead for the stun on the Drow Ranger. K1's BKB is working wonders for them. He'll get another kill. Are they done? Earthshaker still has the Echo committed with the buyback. So we'll see. Age is still in the hands of Sven. There is no Ravage, unfortunately, as Schofield just dies. That's a, that's a die back from Schofield, yeah. High ground vision from Vichy Gaming, spot him. Radiance top tower. 
the meld hidden TA for Ori. With ready and waiting ready to, to strike, strike onto K1. Oh, dearie me, he's dead. Aegis expended. Beast Coast still want to get into this fight and defend him. BKB used up by K1. They're Skull on the run. In, in comes the Ravage, though. <laughs> Old 11 hit. finds Whisper. Get on the bubble. Disruption saves him for now. They can turn with a Supernova as well. Ravage from Old 11 hits out onto three. Chris Luck still looking for a target, but they focus the egg. Supernova does not land, and Chris Luck forced to TP home. That was such nicely done by Vichy Gaming. Ori They've got another cat hiding in the meld. PYW found him with a hex. K1, he's got nothing left in the tank. They can kite him day after day, and oh, that damage from Ori and Poyo. Well, another huge fight for Vichy Gaming. The execution has been perfect, and now we look towards this mid lane where Schofield he'll try and defend his leaner, but Ori's arrival seals the deal, and Schofield slowed by the trap. He's being clipped, tries to tumble his toy, but there's just no escape from Vichy. He's just waltzing forward, still smoke, the blink hex. Do they go on Chris Luck? They get the stuns, the chain disables. Whew. Disappears under the damage of Ori. Buys back in the second ravage. Chris Luck has BKB'd up, but Whisper's dead. The multi buyback from Beast Coast, but they're just Eleven's losing still alive. hero after hero. Chris Luck's nearly died. The echo from Schofield with the egg on top, and K1 arrives. Down goes Poyo. The defender's advantage for Beast Coast will win them a fight. Ori, can he blink with refraction going? He can. Yes, he can. What a stun from Lion. They need to get more out of this. DY using ulti. They Fire. get a Fisher, though. Ori, another blink in five seconds. He's out of there. That's a good kill on Drow That's on the a tide. triple buyback from Beast Coast. They needed to get more from this. That's a dieback on the Phoenix as well, isn't it? And even though we speak of this Vici Gaming burst damage, the physical damage they've got, the maneuverability from quadruple blink daggers here from Vici, they still have pretty fragile heroes, even with refraction instances, even with BKB and Butterfly. They could get slapped around by K1 Sven and Chris Lux Lena who equally output significant... Oh! Oh! Hey! Schofield, he stopped the initiation! Old 11, he gets a Ravage off, but he dies! Now the dive in, Whisper looking for Poyo. Laguna Blade clears up PYW, they turn onto Drow Ranger, K1's dying though! Out goes the Sven, and Ori turns! Egg now, forced to be used, while Stinger bubbles one up! Oh, the good Fisher again, Schofield winning this fight for them, and Lena on the sidelines, pumping out damage, while Ori, no refraction remaining! Being burnt alive and hit around, destroyed by Chris Luck. Poyo's in trouble. Chris Luck's got him. Oh, do they get him away? Drow Ranger to the high ground. They stun and sleep the leader now. Chris Luck gets fingered by Lion. A great O spike onto Whisper as well. Gives Ori a triple kill after buying back. Old 11. So good at playing that frontliner. He's guarding Ori for now. They do make the jump and a big Ravage, but the Supernova's out there. The and second the Ravage, one. Chris Luck dead for a minute and a half, and they focus the egg. Poyo clears through Whisper while the finger helps take down that poor Schofield Earthshaker. When you see your Sven... Use it. He keeps animation cancelling finger. <laughs> when you see Sven with a BKB and ulti in your team running away, you know the fight is over. That one extra second, 125 means three hits from Sven with Swift Blink. Here comes Beast Coast. Stomp misses out. K1's on old 11. Kraken Shell pops him away from the stun, but the Fisher onto oh, two stuck. with the egg. Nicely placed. There's a Ravage out. Catching Schofield, but Whisper's down. They don't the see egg him. doesn't land, and the kiting now here they do. of that hex stub. K1, Sven, surely seals an end to the game. Beast Coast, they're losing out everybody. Vici Gaming with his old 11 tie, just dominating the team fights. And GG's called. Yeah, Vichy Gaming, I, I feel Beast Coast didn't fight when they were strong. Sven just kept popping the ulti and uh, going for the Ancients uh, instead of trying to fight with the team, and they missed a bit of an opportunity. Even Vindranger, if she decides to pick up the shard, which she, as a core you do not want to buy it, but maybe from killing oh, the yeah. Roche. The Gale Force. And they've got glimpses as well from Disruptor. Yeah. So many tools to displace their opponents, move There's them around. There's a lot of bouncy, bouncy. And has a sentry as well. K1 dancing. Bang in the bong goes in that river down in the mid lane. Well, Chris Schofield Luck. lurks behind. Ooh, Beast Coast. They want to fight this. 
Ranged Axe is chucked at them. Poyo being chipped away at. Three-man God's Rebuke. And Razor comes in with a Plasma Field. Whisper's nearly dead. He's being hit down by DY. First Blood spilled. Razor's being chased back, but they can't finish him off. And Elder Titan is going to make his way across into that dire triangle where PYW has already sniped a bounty route. I thought Schofield is going to go for Avalanche because he could have landed the multi-man Avalanche. Decided to go for Toss. Didn't even cast a spell. Oh, look at, look at DY and PYW. Oh. Making sure that it doesn't get denied. Very nicely done there. Chris Luck already skilling of in run. Did not want to risk anything. You're playing Inter Razor, who's not going to get Static Link. Level 1 understands that Chris Luck might potentially get the win run, so there's not going to be too much value from it. Now he gets it on level 2, which is completely fine. Top lane, 11, getting harassed quite a lot. That's a lot of damage. Thunderstrike plus the ranged axes slowing and damaging over time. Ori, the hunter-gatherer, finding bounty runes all across the place, while K1 top looks like Vici Gaming are trying to turn and run, but this Troll Warlord doesn't allow them to do so. And on to PYW we go, but they get that killing blow on the Troll Warlord, while DY dies to whisper down bottom lane. It wasn't enough. There was also a cavalry coming out from Vici Gaming. Oh, Schofield. He's got the razor. And a glimpse back on old 11. Going to drag him into the waiting arms of K1 and Stinger. And snare him. Go on, try and trap him in the troll nets. But no. He's speedy during the night time. And he'll TP back to safety. Yeah. Uh, from what I've seen, I also remember one game where this was a particular matchup. A troll decided to go for... Oh, what? Sorry, I'm going to stop you there because there's an arena on DY. Whispers are looking for a solo kill. Maybe he gets some help from Schofield with an avalanche and a toss coming. It's the power shot that finishes it off. But uh, Mars's item build. 11 just farming his items on the bottom. This assembling is uh, something that hasn't existed in Dota for a long time. If you think that Dota 1 and Dota 2 were, you know, 16, 17 years ago. Yeah. That, uh, combined together, but uh, yeah, look at the Sven. He made Mask of Madness, then disassembled it, made Echo Saber out of it. Uh, he's going for Heaven's Halberd one more time, as seen in the previous games. Schofield just can't catch a break. Nope, 300 gold away from Blink, but not allowed to finish his item. Vici Gaming, they've allowed Roshan to be taken. They're not really defending their tier one mid lane. And PYW here for now, freely hitting that tier two top, but the TPs are coming and oh, the glimpse back catches him in the static storm, he'll stay. Chris Luck now arriving with a shackle shot and that's PYW down for a decent bounty of 293 gold. Troll getting very close to his BKB, just the 100 gold away. Pops his BKB and runs down Stinger. Schofield now swarmed and hunted. The Rod of Atos, good little catch on to him. Tiny drop in, but in comes Whisper with Chris Luck. Arena's good. Ori trapped inside and old 11 focused down. Chris Luck with a big damage and Poyo, he's got to turn and run. He can't fight this. Ori, he's been hounded here. Chris Luck finds another target and sticks to it. As in the back, Troll Warlord caught up with that Rod of Atos. Forced to battle trance. Consider his options, but now we get big core kills for Beast Coast, so they can plant themselves in the Radiant Triangle. And they've oh, got another. Done. The Spear and to Hammer. The Meteor lands. Troll comes in. The Maelstrom hits, but no. Overtime damage. 21 charges. Is that enough? The Avalanche will make it enough. There's Schofield with a backstab. This is Schofield's specialty. He loves to come from the back, uh, get a kill. This is something that he did uh, to Razor. Tier 2 tower. Four range creeps and the catapult. Meteor Hammer not cancelled by the stomp, just sleeping the Wind Ranger. Good Earth Splitter. Chris Luck power shots back, and the swarm will dissuade Beast Coast here from staying on top of the staircase. But they could stick around to fight if they want to. In blinks, the old Eleven Night Stalker. Shackle shot launched out towards him, and a static storm is on the Sven. They've got the arena on him as well. Poyo is being annihilated inside the arena. He is not a gladiator, he's just dead. Ori now with his BKB stands and fights up against them, but surrounded by BC members. Chris Luck's still alive. Slapped up, the toss back as well. In we go, old 11 gets the Crippling Fear out, but Chris Luck, he's gonna die. Eventually falls to PYW. 
game. They've got a spear though. Two heroes caught up against the trees. Whisper and K1 They're whacking them, but the, the sleep is there. Vici Gaming hold out for dear hope and Whisper the last man standing. PYW, he'll find him from the back and he the supporting die. crew Ooh. from Vici Gaming stay alive. They see Sven, who doesn't back off after there's a power shot, so they know something is up. They climb up hill. Chris Luck will try to bait with the illusion rune. And that's why Old Lemon's backstabbing, but it's an illusion. That's not real. Static link on K1. Ori giving chase. His BKB expended now, though. And Beast Coast able to reset while in the back lines, Whisper finds the spear. Takes out PYW's killing spree and Old Eleven's Night Stalker's a bit stuck back here. They do get a BKB out from Chris Lock. Poyo aiming on K1's troll. He just annihilates him. Whispers Arena. It will protect him a little bit, allowing the TP home. While well, Old Eleven, considering the chase the towards Eleven the wants Wind to Ranger, go in. he He's wants alone. to try and solo kill Chris Luck. Is he going to get away with this? I'm not sure it's legal. Old Eleven is turning to run and hide now, but he has gone way too deep. And this is why, you know, I should not be biased, but uh, things like this makes Eleven one of my favorite players. Like, <laughs> Even just a crippling fear here as Old Eleven Flaps his wings, makes the jump on to Stinger's Disruptor. The perfect target. Limits Beast Coast fight capabilities, and they've got a good jump on K1 too. He's BKB, but it might be too little too late. He's on the run away. It's a defensive BKB to disengage from Beast Coast. As Whispers Poyo, Arena. Still holding a BKB. He slept inside of it. Poyo turns with his gold strength BKB, shreds Whisper, cuts him in half. PYW trapping that tiny now. Aronimatos up, Beast Coast on the run, back to the hills they go, trying to hide, but they've lost too many lives. Mars Disruptor, Tiny follows them into the grave, and Old Eleven to pick up a double kill. And all of that because they saw Vind Ranger using a BKB. My middle name is Attenborough, after all. But there is Whisper missing another spear, unfortunately for him, while Ori is caught with the Avalanche Toss. Not a massive amount of damage, though. The Lotus Orb is there, so Whisper sucking. Back the damage that's been stolen from him. Ori. Oh, oh the time lapse. The time lapse. Back to full HP we go, but in the arena has to play in there. Chris Luck destroyed as the Meteor Hammer does land and raises down. But Poyo showing himself as the one true carry as he's want to be. K1 is off to the left, in towards DY. Battle trance out while Schofield tosses him in. Pushes that Weaver back into the grasp yeah, of the troll. Great spear from Beast Coast. And K1 comes out with a triple kill. Poyoyo's alone. He's got no backup. They need the buybacks. Stormhammer will try and delay the inevitable, but his death is coming. Schofield playing out his mind with his tosses around, but a disarm on K1. Delays the damage. The Aegis will be claimed. Now Whisper, Lotus all back, that Rodovatos yet again, but Old Eleven, Dark Ascension, BK Bead, an absolute monstrosity, destroy Stinger, and VG Gaming reclaim the throne, taking out Beast Coast and forcing them away from that bottom lane. Old Eleven, he wants it real bad, doesn't he? Get out of here, K1. Buy back Whisper, Old Eleven's on him again, K1, under the tier two, still not feeling too comfortable or safe to push and dive this tower, though, VG Gaming. Without their Razor, they know that Beast Coast have a chance to win the fight. But another oh, spear miss Spear. Missing. Whisper, unfortunately, just can't catch and latch onto a hero. But another toss back. Rod of Atos into the Lotus Orb again. But a time lapse out. PYW shackled and netted. Finally destroying that bug. Boyo, while Boyo TPing He's home. TP He's fine. They have nothing. They, they're trying. Pushing. They've been trying to push this lane for a very long time. Brute force, brute force, brute force. Double catapults arriving. And Troll Warlord with the spidey legs. Good oh. force, staff. Onto the high ground. Ranged barracks looking a little worse for wear. And Schofield. Avalanche toss spear. Ori. Shackle shot it as well. He's dead with no buyback. They're pinging tier fours. They want to go for this. Lacoste, they want to end the game. I feel like he does not have a buyback there. He bought the full refresher. Sven going in. He wants to try and burst them, but the static storm's down. Poyo, half HP. BKB comes late. Do they have the physical damage to shred through the Sven? They're slowing with the Scardi. They're close, but not close enough until the spear. And it hits two targets. It gets the both of them. Old Eleven has a double kill, but Beast Coast have killed three without buyback. Old Eleven. He's a... Uh... 
full HP. Yeah, you need to be careful. Beast Coast, try to go for that finish, but they need to back off right now. There's no Wind Ranger, there's no Mars. Roshan dropping quickly. Around. But this loop might just give Beast Coast the Roshan they wanted. The Spirit's in the pit, stomps and sleeps the Troll and Wind Ranger. Earth Splitter connects on K1, and yet again they found Stinger. He four staffs back, but he's still destroyed. Puyo in with a nice storm hammer, cleaves through Schofield. A double buyback from BC, but K1. He turns with the battle trance. He doesn't have the Aegis. He's in trouble. K1's Sarm. disarmed. K1's dead. He's gonna fall here. The Static Storm's good, but PYW the Eon disc. Oh, K1's still shackle. alive. K1's still going. How? Finally falls while Chris Luck holding the Aegis. Yes, blinks across to the right hand side. Sven down and Razor Ball back. Beast Coast, they've got the numbers advantage. They're still going. Oh, they're going to get him as well. Up. Cheese is available if it's needed. This might be the comeback. They're taking this Roche. Chris Luck, though. Oh, he knew someone was nearby. PYW. Oh, he tried. Uh, that was a that very nice sick. try. That Just in case sick. he was behind those trees. A big, big fight from the Beast Coast. And then we jump. Chris Luck forced to BKB just because of Old Levin's presence. Ori, he BKBs himself. Shiny Golden Razor onto Stinger's Disruptor. Static linking away and soaking some of that damage. Threw out a static storm in his death throes. But Whisper in an awful lot of trouble now. VG Gaming. Oh, the Abyssal Blade stun. K1. Oh, oh the time, the time lapse. lapse. PYW. Beautiful stuff. Whisper now down and out. We've got buyback available, though. Chris Luck holding Aegis for a minute. Shackle shot dodged out by Yules. And Old Eleven, he's playing back and forth while Poyo onto K1. He gets off the battle trance just in time. Chris Luck with a focus fire. Poyo bashed up and stunned the time, Another lapse time lapse again. They're trying to chase him down, and in comes Whisper. He's got HP regen from the arena. So K1 surviving, but not against that raw damage of Poyo. K1's brought back for this, though. He's returned to the fight. The troll slowing. Scardy slowing on that oh, what a dodge! as Poyo buys back too. They need to get out. Uh, very nice dodge there from PYW. He is keeping them in the game. Uh, two nice time lapses. There's a spear running, and he uses Stormcrafter just to dodge it. Eon Disc. Buildings collapsing. The foundations of Ichi Gaming's base crumbling before their very eyes. Beast Coast move on to tier fours. No, oh, Night nice Stalker finds the Stinger Disruptor yet again, picking his target, but the Arena of Blood comes Leave. out onto them. He does bring down Stinger, but now the toss back with PYW skewered and speared. They've caught the Sven and the Weaver. Chris Lark shackle shot. Weaver, oh, bouncing up and down with that. Nice little Cyclone while Old Eleven comes in again. He's pretty tanky and doing some serious damage, but Weaver's died and forced to buy back. Chris Lark, he's got Old Eleven. Sven's dead with no buyback. Night Stalker had to spend his. And how long till Ori? Three seconds, careful. two seconds for Ori to return. They've got four heroes alive. There's it the buyback from Ori. Versus four, and Beast Coast have to run. It Looks like the game of daytime. The Lotus, the refresher. Ori's in. Chris Luck's done for. Dead, and with buyback. The outpost doesn't belong to them, though. He's going to TP down the bottom lane. Buying boots of travel, coming back into the fight. Tiny has buyback, too. They've got a shackle shot on the ET. Ori, he's running and hiding. VG Gaming don't want to fight this. The time lapse, though, buys a bit more space and time. Two and the spear. spear, the double from Whisper. Shackle shot doesn't latch behind the Weaver, but it looks like they've got the control. Avalanche this is there, it, Gary. and VG Gaming, 3v4. Sven has no buyback. He's dead for 70 seconds, three minutes without a buyback. Wind Ranger can just use the Focus Fire and the BKB on the drone and win the game off of it. Beast Coast want to close this one out. There is a glyph for Vici Gaming. They'll spend it with a toss back. BKB from Ori, down to half HP. Chris Lock goes wild on the Razor. They're gonna bring him down, no. He's yulsed up into the air while Old Levin backstabbing into Whisper. Oh, they wanted to take it out. Uh, they wanted to go out with the style. Focus Fire used on a Razor, did not manage to get the kill, but no the K1 on focusing the throne. Old Levin uh, trying to get the back lines, but you're right, the throne. Of this. the throne is dying. BKB Battle Trans, the throne is falling. Old Levin gets a double kill, but does it matter? Yes, it does! Yes, it does! They've killed off K1. The throne is Focus alive! Fire. Focus Fire! Focus Fire from Chris Oh my god, what a way to finish!